Hi, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Professor Hertak, and today we're going to learn how to create a schedule using Movie Magic Scheduling. Before we start, please make sure that you have no files located on your desktop. Okay, so if you have pictures, documents, videos, anything on your desktop, make sure that is completely clear. The next step will be to find the default template in order to use Movie Magic Scheduling. In order to find that default template, all you need to do is click on Finder. Finder is the happy face icon. Uh, just use that as a reference. And then you're going to click where is your uh, house, home. And the only way to find that is uh, locating the home icon. Immediately after that, you're going to follow this path. You're going to click where it says MM Data Folder. Immediately after that, you're going to click where it says MM Scheduling. And then after that, you're going to click where it says Templates. And after that, you're going to finally click and select Default Template in order to use Movie Magic Scheduling. So before we create a schedule, it is important to know what are the categories that we need to include in a schedule. These categories are production day. Every single day that you need to have cast and crew members in your production, you're going to create a banner with that information, production day one, production day two, and so on. Another category in our schedule for this class is the equipment setup time. So as you know, you all going to have eventually all the cameras and all the lights uh, for you to create your own film project. So in a schedule, you need to provide some time to your crew members so they can accommodate all the cameras and all the lights in the, in the proper place based on your story, right? So that's one of the categories, equipment setup. The third one will be makeup, hair, and wardrobe change. Regardless of the type of project that you have in mind, your cast members need some time for them to either retouch their makeup or do an, an elaborate makeup. Also, they, they need to have time for uh, do their hair do if they have a hair do, a specific hair do. Okay, and also they need time for a word of change. Okay, so that's our category number three. Number four you need to include in your schedule time for your cast and crew members to have some lunch time and breaks. Lunch time usually is one hour, okay? Breaks usually are 30 minutes, okay? Um, so just so you know that. Okay, so number five is blocking and rehearsal. Uh, they usually do the blocking time uh, and it's very important to have a blocking time so we know how to light uh, the, the people that are going to be positioned and working in front of the cameras. Rehearsal is just a time that you allow your cast members to go over their lines and read the dialogue in that, for that specific scene. Okay. The next category will be company move. In this category, it is not uh, mandatory, but if you choose to have company move, then you need to create a banner that specifically establish that at certain time, you're gonna have a company move, okay? We're gonna explore that later on when, I, when we start creating our schedule. Category number seven is a wrap-up time. Wrap-up time is pretty much the time that your crew members need to take everything back to the boxes and therefore they're going to take all the boxes you know once they have all the lights uh stored in there and they're going to take all that equipment and put it back in the vehicles usually this takes about an hour if you have you know a small amount of film equipment so wrap up time is the time that you wrap it up you wrap all your scenes for that day all your your uh recording time and you are ready to go home Last but not least, you have the end of shooting time. Now, the end of shooting time is a banner that you're going to add uh, when you click on the Insert Daybreaks button. And that's something that we're going to explore later on when we start building our own schedule. Okay, so pretty much the end of shooting time is going to inform cast and crew members how many hours 
you need to work during that specific day of production. So sometimes you can have on production day one 10 hours of shooting or 10 hours of work time, but maybe in production, uh, during your production day two, you have maybe six hours of production time. Also, the end of shooting time is good to separate each production day. In order to start, you need to import first the memory garden script. So we're gonna go to file at the top left on your menu and click on this window where it says import. I have on my downloads the memory garden script document saved as an SEX file. Make sure you click there once and then click where it says open on the same window at the bottom right on the screen. Okay, so I have already imported the memory garden script. And as you can see, some of the information on the breakdown sheet is gonna be filled. You need to make sure that the information is accurate. And one of the things that I'm gonna recommend you is to make sure that the synopsis, for example, doesn't go over five words. Just because if you print this breakdown sheet, it's not gonna show more than five words on the actual paper, okay? So make sure that you go over each category that we need to add the information. You know, we need to add the scene number, if the scene was exterior, interior, <clears throat> the location of that specific scene, um, if this scene was during the daytime, nighttime. In here on pages, you're gonna add the information about the age of a page that we discussed and we practiced on week two. So the same number that you use on that exercise is going to be located right here on their pages section. Um, synopsis is just a brief description of what's happening on that specific scene. Uh, after that, you're going to add the script pages number, and that has to do with the page number on your script, okay, where each scene is located. So if, if you have scene one on page one, you're going to add the page one right here as you can see on the screen. Also, if you want, and just for practice, you can add the location, you know, location studio A, or at the beach, or you name it, okay? So just for practice, you can definitely add the location if you want to. And don't forget to add the estimated time that it's gonna take each scene to be recorded, okay? Also, we need to add all the elements, and just to add an element, all you need to do is click on top of that word, and add the specific uh, element under that category, okay? So moving forward, and I'm assuming that you already watched all the previous videos assigned for this assignment, we're gonna jump in into our uh, next step, which is this building our schedule. So for that, we're gonna click here on the center. And as you can see, I already have all the scenes that the memory garden script has. We have five different scenes. In order to build a schedule, we're gonna use mainly these first two buttons at uh, the top menu, okay? We're gonna use, if you place the mouse on top, you're gonna see the name. You're gonna use the insert date break, and I'm gonna show you what is the purpose of that specific function, and you're gonna use a lot of banners, okay? So one of the first things that I do when I build a schedule is to add the title of that specific production. And in order to do that, we're gonna click on the T and we're gonna add the name of our production. Okay, so because this is just an informative banner, we don't need to add an estimated time because it's just an, an, a title that is gonna inform all of us the name of that specific production, the memory garden shooting schedule. And if you want, just to make it different from the other categories, you can definitely increase the size right here. I'm gonna use it um, 25, okay? And then you can also change the color as well as the type of font. Um, so I'm gonna leave it in Arial, but I'm just gonna make it bigger so people understand that that's the name of the actual production. And then click OK. 
okay every time that you want to add a banner you need to click on one of the strips so now that we have the title of our schedule the memory garden shooting schedule we're now going to proceed to add the production day so we're going to start with production day one so choosing the second uh, strip allows me to go ahead and add another banner so we're going to add production day one and again this is just a banner created to inform to our cast and crew members and we are doing uh we're working right now on our production day one schedule i'm going to select a color just to make it clear that if i choose that color people know that that's my starting point for that specific day so i'm just going to choose you know let's choose pink and i'm going to click ok ok and now also i'm going to increase a little bit the size and let me see uh, how it looks so as you can see what I'm going to do from now and on on my schedule is I'm going to be consistent with the color and the size. So we already created the title of this schedule and the title for our production day one. And beginning on this precise moment, all you need to do is repeat the process over and over again. The information is going to change. Also, the time is going to change, but the process is going to be the same one. So what I do from this point and on is just use the banner here at the top left. And before I add a banner, I have to select one of the strips on my uh, breakdown, on, on my strip board, I'm sorry. So I'm going to click on the T. And from this point and on, I'm just going to add the different categories that we already discussed. And it is up to you to organize your schedule the best way uh, you understand that is 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 better for you and your and your cast and crew members. Okay, so I'm going to start adding the equipment setup, and also on this uh, on this category, I just want to add uh, we're going to have some breakfast. At the same time so that way you kill two birds uh, with the same stone right so equipment setup and breakfast so what is the starting time that you're gonna ask everybody to show up for this specific uh, uh, assignment right they're gonna be they need to be on the set at 8 a.m. all the way to let's say two hours from 8 all the way to 10 a.m right so that way everybody you know can have some breakfast while other people are working in setting up all the cameras um, on on the location right so this is gonna be and we're gonna start working um using the time zone on each category so we're gonna use uh, for the purpose of this example, the Pacific Standard Time. And I usually use those in capital letters, okay? So, equipment setup and breakfast from 8 a.m. all the way through 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. To add the amount of hours, you're going to go to the second row and you're going to add on the first space the amount of hours. And then I'm going to click on my keyboard the the key command that says uh, tap to move to the next uh, space and I'm going to add two zeros because on this on the on this uh, specific uh, space you're going to add the minutes okay sounds good so I'm going to leave uh, I'm not going to touch the font or the size of the font I'm going to I'm going to keep being consistent so that way I know that all the categories are going to stay the same, okay? Okay, so I'm going to click where it says OK. And immediately the system add on my, um, on my project this category. Okay. 
So I want you to start organizing your production day the way you understand. Because remember, you are going to be, you're going to act as the director and the producer of this short film. So eventually you're going to have to do the same thing for your own projects. And this is the starting point where you're going to learn how to do this the correct way. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I'm looking forward to see all of your schedules. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Okay, have a nice day.